All right, I took my jaws off and laid down a new uh, towel here. Same towel, just uh, sh shook it off and got it in position here. We're setting up to continue on with our locking collar for the K&T adjustable spindle. And we're gonna put our piece of material in here. All right, we're gonna look at it. It seems to be seated at the back of the uh, chuck, really nice. And we've got our part here. We're gonna be roughing out the OD of the the outside that that protrudes into the housing. Once we have that, then we will come in with some serious tools, not just a pair of dial calipers here. Now, what we have for serious tools, we laid out here on the uh, K&T, and we have uh, three micrometers that will give us uh, the exact uh, diameters of the bore, the minor diameter, and the major diameter. The uh, inside micrometer set is how we're going to actually measure it, and we'll confirm it with the outside micrometer. And the face of the minor diameter to the depth where it hits the flange for the major diameter, we will check that with a uh, depth mic and we will be able to precisionally make this part. When, when you uh, are serious about measurements, you need to get something besides a set of calipers in my mind anyway all right to start off here we're going to be turning or roughing down just above the diameter of this which is four inches uh, 750 four and three quarters and the depth here is uh by scale it's just under one and four hundred so we'll just call it like uh 1350 we can rough it too all right we still have our cutter set up. We, we have an extra holder, so we kind of left it in there. And uh, this is the step that we uh, figured our height adjustment here. And that worked out fine. Everything is still tight there. All right, I'm happy with this uh, location here. I've already come in. I put this in neutral. I've come in here, checked my distance in here to the jaws and made sure that I swung around and I'm not snagging my uh, cloth there yet. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, uh, let's put it uh, kind of like that. And uh, I think we'll need a reverse feed here. Let's just check our direction. All right, it's going to be in our right direction. I'm just coming in and I'm going to touch here and I'm going to just give me a zero here just so I know how much I'm taking in at a time here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give that a hundred. And we can come in here and touch there, set our zero for our face. double check and make sure I did that all right here we go Okay, I'm I'm throwing up some dust there, and uh, and I want to keep going at what we're the rate we're going. So I'm just going to go ahead and add another cloth to the back side here. I have to add another couple magnets there. All right, here we go.
okay yeah you can see how much material actually pushes you push uh, material and when you get to an end of a cut sometimes on the bore you'll see it as well but you get a ring that just pushes off the end and that kind of gives you the height of uh, your cut and that was a hundred thousands there we're going to continue whittling this down all right here we go here's another hundred thousandths Alright, I caught up with the other cut there. Uncover my travel dial because we don't want to go any farther than we need to. And um, verify that with a scale. That's like 250. I'm just going to take it to 1300 to start with. And 1300 is right there. I can come in and whittle on that face some, leave myself a little safety. Sometimes you might not catch the off uh, in time there. I don't have stop set in here and it's not a CNC machine. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is going to be our third uh, cut here. Actually, let me slide these rings off of here. Okay, we don't need them on there all the time. All right, uh, we're all set here. We're going to give it another hundred thousandths. Here we are. Coming on in. Okay, here we go. Okay, about 300 away, 200, 100, and stop. There we go. All right, we're going to continue whittling this down until we get down roughly to the diameter there. And what is my scale? All right, just scaling this here. We're at uh, five inches, six hundred, and we're going down to four inches, seven hundred. And we've got a few, few more thousands, a few more passes to take off. Okay, we let this cool down a little bit because we just want it to be closer to the room temperature, and our our rough dimension here is. 4 inches, 797, somewhere around in there. Alright, we want to change out from this insert into a um, DNMP with a positive uh, action to the front here. It's got a nice smooth uh, spoon type of geometry to it. And I really like it and I think it's going to do a good job. Also, the slenderness of the point is going to let me come in and right right in the root right here there's a little bit of clearance making sure that this surface here and this face here are not interrupted by a radius or um, a, a surface that would protrude and interfere at that point right there so uh, regardless if there's a chamfer on the other end they they automatically put a little relief in here and I like using the little radius and uh, that that tends to not give it a stress rise 
stress rise is a sharp edge or an area where something can become weak uh, when hit or stretched all right so I'm changing out from this this here uh, now this this tool bit here we set with our center when we started so we knew where it was but here's another way you can check um, your tool bit in relationship to center line all right I just touched so it's holding the scale between the part and the tip and the scale is leaning in towards the top meaning I'm above center which I'm 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 cutting upside down and that's where I want to be so what we did is we just took all, all my inserts are the same uh, one inch style base and holder and uh, most of them are Sandovic uh, make but regardless they still are the same style so I'm gonna drop this on here and I just want to verify my center as well with this insert before I start and let me go ahead and get this in here and it also is leaning inward on the top so I'm good as far as my center height uh, and I'm happy with this insert where it's at uh, coming in here I'm hitting here I got plenty of room and clearance in the bed just double checking all of that before I go for it all right I've taken my depth mic here and we're gonna we're gonna see what we actually have here for a depth and I'm reading there's a little bit of a burr here like but I'll be within five thousand or so I got uh, one inch 290 and see what we got here and we got uh, one inch 390 390 and a half or so so we're almost exactly a hundred thousand shy of this and that relief that's in here in the corner is about one hundred thousandths so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to touch off on this here um, and take it just a couple thousandths past this surface here as far as it, the, 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 the dimension that we want to be so that after I turn this diameter come in here kiss this face here I'll be able to back out with the travel dial exactly that distance and then come along that face and then this diameter that face and this face will all be done in in one one swoop then we'll be able to change out our setup and we'll come in and we'll do our bore for the finished bore then it I need to go ahead and looks like this gets just slightly broke and then there's a uh, there's about a hundred thousandths break on that face there and then just making sure that I have that relief in there um, and that's pretty much all that we'll have to do this thing and uh, so let's get let's go ahead and start I'm gonna start and touch off on here and uh, get that diameter close now we're gonna come in here and skim that all right let's come out here we're gonna touch off there we go all right we're gonna take uh, it's almost sitting on one inch mark there okay uh, I'm just referencing my my dial here okay we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take take fifty thousandths we know that we had about a hundred okay here we go We're setting our dial here at zero now so that we got a zero spot from a clean cut.
and we're going to go in just till we see remnants of it just touching that outside diameter of the, the minor diameter there I should say down in the root there okay right there you can see how it started cutting out all right we're going to back it off just a little bit there okay and just back away and let's go ahead and let's check out what we got okay let's we're going to spin this back a little bit here okay let's hold it in there we uh lightly rubbed our uh face off of here now this is the saw cut so we haven't uh we haven't taken anything off of this yet so we might want to check this all the way around we got uh oh 327 let's just check it in a couple different spots here just so we know that 324 329 all right so there's about five thousand uh off of this thing as it is let's go ahead and let's run a cut across this face right here we're still leaving our zero at the other one there and our travel dial actually looks like uh one inch three thirty 29 or 30 right there we're just touching so I'm going to take at least a good nine thousands off of this face see if we can get it clean across here at least that way we'll know we're at a a smooth concentric face to the rest of the part All right, let's see what we ended up being here. All right, one inch, one inch, three sixteen. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and come back in here and touch off and take another face. We're gonna try to bring this depth in here just about right on the money, real close to where we can set it up and create the right length after we're done but we'll get we'll get in here so that we can turn this diameter and then we can plunge in and create that root down in there okay this should be we should be coming right back into our zero it shouldn't have changed all right there's our zero all right no cut all right here's 25 Okay, we're getting real close here. Three, one, three seventy one, and what did we say this was? Three ninety. Real close to three ninety. All right, so we're gonna take another. We'll take another twenty right now. After we take this cut here, then we're going to take and we're going to swap the holder over to this side and we're going to pick up a little bit more angle into the other direction so that we'll be able to reach in and do that relief after we get done with that face. Okay, we're just coming outward about three thousandths. Okay, we're out of the area here now. Let's see what we got. All right, uh, one inch, three. 391 391 all right let's go ahead and back this out a little bit more all right and we're gonna pull the chips off of here we're gonna boil this off here okay we're gonna put this on in this direction now
still run it upside down. Okay, and we're gonna break loose the post. All right, we're gonna see if we can come in here far enough this way. This carriage does move pretty good in both directions here. All right, as long as we have clearance on that front side, we're good there. Cinch this down just a little bit. Oh, one of my magnets. I don't know where that one came from. Okay. All right, we'll be able to come in there and give the nice little relief because the relief is really on, on the diameter, not on the face. All right. Okay, and I'm just going to guess that that's probably about 20 thousandths. But uh, what we're going to do right now well, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to rotate this around again, just making sure that we're we're clearing in here. Okay. Now we're going to come out here. We're going to take this down to finish diameter. Okay, and Right now we're at uh, we're at four inches, seven ninety two, almost ninety two. All right, and we need to go down to an inch and three quarters or so. We're gonna measure the bore that this goes in because this is this has been broke. We will still try it uh, 90 degrees from each other. And I'm getting like 752 there. Seven fifty one there. But we're gonna measure the bore and we're gonna see what that is. I put together my inside micrometers and I, I knew that it was gonna be close to the uh, uh, three inches or four inches four inches three quarters now what I do is I hold this th that stationary end and then the thimble end is the end that I kind of walk back and forth and find find the largest diameter that I can pass through and get the get the touch feel right there now that touch feel that you're getting used to or doing for the first time or after a while automatically it, you got that feel and you want that feel that you feel in here the same as the feel on the micrometer and that's gonna that's gonna replicate that bore diameter as close as close as you can get it I'm uh, and also too I'm kind of confirming that uh, this inside micrometer here is reading within two tenths of this one here but it's best to do uh, almost with your eyes closed um, because it's it is all about a feel and uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and check a couple different spots here And in that same feel, I want to go ahead and put in on, on Mike in that outside. Now, we knew that that other thing was swelled up and jammed up. And, uh, and that's why it wouldn't go in here. There's two, two dimensions that this thing is almost like right, right on the nominal. Meaning the uh, four inches... Uh, 
750. I'm getting just a couple thousandths over right there. Yep. Down in there farther, it seems to be a little bit that were too larger. Let's try. There is a gear opening and something else in there, so interrupted cut might have made it that way. Let's just see if we can get as close to this straight across from it. Right on the money. So I would say it's uh, four inches, three quarters on the money, two plus two. All right, now this is the ring here that goes down in there. And but it's been it's been stretched out. I'm getting like two over there. Free there but you remember this thing has been pried on outward on this thing here so that that can that can swell that that direction I'm not doubting it can't okay to me this mics up to be larger than the bore and and it won't go down in there I mean, I can get this to go in there because it's not it's less than half of the diameter, but as soon as you try to go down and you try to get the rest of it in there, it's it's not going, okay? The the lock is on that side. It would go in just like this. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to make it to be on size to under a half. I want this to register pretty close. That's what I'm going to shoot for. All right. 